Welcome to this first episode of Writing Wednesdays. So about one year ago, I set out to develop what I believe is the highest leverage habit in human history, and that is writing and publishing on the internet every day. The internet has made it so easy for us to create a piece of content for free and get that shared millions of times without us doing anything else, right? That's why I say it's the highest leverage task. And this, everybody's a writer, right? Whether you are an entrepreneur, a designer, an engineer, a lawyer, a doctor, a digital creator, a parent, or even a child, you are a writer. You are using writing to con communicate. That's how we as human beings communicate with other humans. Now, in my life, in my business, there has been no thing or no habit that has been more impactful than learning and developing the skill of writing. I've been able to uh, write and launch three different books that have sold many thousands of copies. I'm able to create and launch new products quickly and easily. I'm able to create weeks worth of content in just a couple hours. I've been able to write promotions to sell not only my products and services and programs, but clients' products and services and programs and get paid thousands of dollars a month for that. I've also been able to build my audience to over 25,000 people, and it's all thanks to this skill of writing and publishing on the internet, this habit. So on this new series, Writing Wednesdays, I wanna help you develop this habit. I wanna help you get better and develop your skill of writing so that you can use it to improve your life and your business the way that I've, and I've used it to improve mine. So on these Writing Wednesdays, on this series, I'm gonna uh, post a video or a live stream that helps you to improve the skill of writing, publishing on the internet. So it's, it could be around copywriting, it could be around content creation, it could be around community building and using writing to do that. It could be around sending out emails. Uh, what, anything around writing is gonna be on this Writing Wednesdays series and it could be you know a live stream or a short video format uh, depending on how, on how I'm feeling that week. So I hope you guys are excited for this. In this first Writing Wednesdays episode, I'm gonna show you my process for going through and writing a daily email. So everything from how I plan to how I actually write it, you're gonna see that in action, to how I just send it out to my list and the software that I use for that. So let's jump into this first episode right now. All right, so on today's Writing Wednesdays, we're talking about the daily email. The most powerful thing that I do for my business to grow my audience, nurture my audience, and generate sales for my info products. Um, so the daily email, I think that every business owner should have a daily email or some way of having daily contact with their audience. And this just warms them up to you, makes your audience feel like they know you by having that daily contact. And the daily email, I think, is the best way to do that because it's a platform that you own, right? It's your email list. So let's talk through in this video how I come up with daily email ideas. I've been doing this for over a year now. And how do I come up with email ideas? How do, how do I structure an email? Like how do I outline it and figure out what I'm gonna write about? And I wanna walk through that and also show you live in action of me writing, writing. I also wanna show you live in action of me writing an email so that you can see basically how the entire process works and start doing it for yourself. So first off, uh, what you're seeing on the screen here is my daily email idea file. So I recommend that you just open up the notes app on your phone and start your own idea file. And whenever you have a story, either in your, your personal life or your business, if you have, say you're reading a book or you're watching a TV show, if you have some kind of in, uh, insight or something entertaining that you can share, note that down as well. If you have any lessons, mistakes, um, feelings, you know, feelings, maybe not, but anything that you have that you wanna share with your list or your audience, and if you don't have an audience, the, the person that you wanna target, anything that would benefit them and also be relevant to them, you wanna put that in this, in this idea file here. So I have, I'm not the most organized person, I have multiple of these daily idea documents on my phone, but you can see here, I just have dozens and dozens of ideas for emails. And when I uh, use an idea, I just you know highlight it and I delete it off the list so I don't use it again. Uh, but this is how I come up with ideas for daily emails. It's not you know, some secret formula or anything. I'm just taking everything that I feel would be relevant to my audience and stories and things that happen in my life, putting it into this idea file, and I'm using these as my topics for my content and my emails. Um, so this is the number one thing I recommend you do is start doing this. Every day you should be going into this document and adding at least one to two new ideas to this idea file. And this is how you're gonna have things to write about every day. Um, so that is the most important part here is just starting to get in the habit of creating this idea file. Now, how do I actually structure the email? 
So once I pick out a topic of something that I wanna write about in my email, I either write this, I used to write this out in the beginning, but now I just have it in my head and this just kind of comes natural to me. But you wanna list out the who, the why, and the what. So the who is basically, who are you targeting? Who are you writing to? Who is this gonna benefit? The why is, why should they care about what you're writing? Like what, what benefit or result are they, gonna, are they gonna get out of reading your email or reading your piece of content? And the what is, what do you want them to do next, right? It doesn't have to be to buy a product. It could be to click on this link to watch my video. It could be click on this to go to my blog. Um, whatever action you want them to take next, that's what this what is here. Um, so in this email, I, this is a result style email. So I have this person in my group here. This is my email marketing group, Kayleen. She got uh, three clients just from following my $29 super fast sales email challenge. So I'm just, whenever these results pop up, these are great things that you can use for your, your emails and your content as well, um, is when someone buys your product and get a result with it or your service, you can write about that. And that's gonna help you get more clients, more customers. So this is the topic today, right? She, this was January 28th. I'm gonna write about her story in this email. And then what I want them to do next is, is to check out my super fast sales email challenge product. So this is gonna be for writers and copywriters looking for clients. Uh, why should they pay attention? Well, if they're looking for clients, if they follow what Kayleen did, they could get clients too. And what do I want them to do after reading? Well, I'm gonna to link to my, my product here, super fast sales email challenge. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pop open this online timer. I'm gonna hit start on this and you're gonna watch over the shoulder as I type out this email and also show you my process for just taking the email, uh, going through a quick edit and then how I post it, the software that we use. So I'm gonna hit start on this and let's jump into it. So I'm done writing and the way that this usually works is I'll just write up a quick first draft. As you saw, I don't really edit the writing. I just type out whatever comes to my mind. And I was just referencing this post here and looking for things that I could pull out of this and use in the email. And, oh, I'm gonna stop this. Uh, look how long it took me, five minutes and 30 seconds, which is, that's not, it's not always that quick. But I just want to show you how fast it could be for me to write these emails. And this email is gonna generate sales, right? I'm using a client result or a customer result from one of my products. I'm using that to sell more of, the, more of this product here. Um, so what I also wanna show you is this app here called Hemingway. Now what I like to do is I'll copy the email and I'll pop it into here. And I'm looking for a fourth grade reading level or less. Uh, sometimes I'll allow fifth grade level, um, but I'm gonna just paste it into here. You can see fourth grade. Uh, this just, it doesn't mean that you're dumbing it down. It, it means that your email is, your writing is easy to read. So I try to shoot for, again, a fifth grade level or lower. And this just means like if it's too high, if it's sixth grade or above. When I first started popping it into here, I think I was like at a seventh or eighth grade level. Then you want, you want to take these tips here and make it easier to read, remove any adverbs and, and try to get down to below a fifth grade level. So if I were to take out this, Um, you know, I might, that's what I might do. If I were to, were to edit, I would just remove some of these adverbs. I'll try to play with this a bit to, to get it below that. But you can see here, 188 words, very short email, but this is gonna work for me. This is, this is how short some of my daily emails are. As long as I'm putting out an email every day and having that daily contact, that's what's important to me. So um, let's read through this real quick. Subject line, three email copy clients in three weeks. Today, I wanna show you what's possible when you learn to write emails that sell. 
check out this post from a customer a few days ago. And this was January 28th. Kayleen was not a copywriter before taking the super fast sales email challenge. Yet in just seven days, she learned the skill and started prospecting. And seven to eight days after that, she booked three calls out of 23 prospects. You can see here. She even followed my advice by sending samples to her interested prospects so they could get a feel for her skills, which is something I talk about in the challenge. Turns out they loved it, even though she only had a few weeks of experience. Since making that post, Kayleen sent an update that she landed three clients. And you can see here in the comments, uh, I did land that third client. Two on monthly recurring deals and one who was a consultation. That's the power of learning how to write emails that sell. In just a few weeks, Kayleen learned the skill and got paid for it. And it all started with the super fast sales email challenge. If you want to learn how to write emails that sell so you can grow your own business or offer it as a service for others, then check out my super fast sales email challenge here. And I link to it here. In just seven days, you'll learn this lucrative skill for yourself and be on your way to seeing results like Kayleen did. Your compadre, Sean Anthony. Um, so super short, punchy email, but I like these because it practically wrote itself, right? I just used a customer testimonial. And if you run like an e-commerce business or you have a lot of reviews just sitting around, you could use that to write up emails. So I'm gonna hop in here and here's what I do when I am posting it or sending it to my list. I just copy this email once it's done being edited. Then I go into, uh, this is active campaign and I already have this set up. So I click into this, if, if not, I'll click on this little arrow and I just duplicate it. And I click into this and all I do is I copy this subject line and let's go back to here. Paste it in here, click next. And all I do is select the list that I'm sending it to the, I just send it to my main list next. And then what I do is I just remove this. This is the previous email that I sent. I just highlight it and paste it in. Oops. Boom. Okay, click next. And I change out this subject line. Paste that in, close, next. And then I just schedule it out, right? So usually what I'll do is I'll send this over to my VA and then she does all these steps, but this is exactly how the process is for writing up an email and publishing it, getting it sent out to my list, right? So again, what we did, you have that daily email file, right? This daily email ideas, make sure you start on this because this is where all your topics are gonna come from. From there, I pick out an idea of what, something I wanna write about. In this case, it was a customer result who posted in my group. And I started with the who, right? Who is this targeting? Writers and copywriters looking for clients. Why should they care? Well, if they follow what Kayleen did, who got clients in just a few weeks, they could get clients too. And what do I want them to do next? Check out my super fast sales email challenge. And you saw me write this in action. And it took me five and a half minutes to do that. Okay, so it doesn't have to take you hours to write and publish. In the beginning, it's, it's gonna take you longer, but it could be as simple as you know, a five to 20 minute email where you just type up in the morning when you wake up. Um, so that's it for this first episode of Writing Wednesdays. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this, right? If, did you guys like seeing this in action of me just going through and showing the work? Did you get something out of this? Was it boring or useless? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like if you enjoyed this, uh, but hopefully you guys like this and give me some feedback of what you wanna see in future episodes to help you build this habit of writing online and publishing online. And I will see you next week.